the original bull on America. That's what my next guest is called. He's Brian Hicks, editor of New American Investor. He says America is bigger and better than ever, and you should buy two stocks precisely because of that. But are Leah Goldman and Dennis Neal bullish on his picks? Brian, good to see you. You look too young to be the bull on America, but you're 37. You got some good stocks for us. Ormat Tech, what is it? Why do you like it? Ormat Technologies. Renewable energy is huge right now, and solar, ethanol, wind, they're getting all the headlines, but it's geothermal that's making a lot of money for a lot of investors. Ormet Technologies, they have uh, geothermal plants all around the world on five continents. They're now in Nevada. Last year, the stock uh, gained 60%. And it even pays a dividend. Wow. What alternative Geothermal. Stock? What's wrong or right with it? You, you know, uh, I, I just feel like uh, um, they've been doing geothermal, uh, Brian was telling me, for several decades. This, you, you drill to the center of the earth and you tap the steam from the earth. And if it were that great, it would have popped by now. But also, this company is like five times as expensive as the rest of the entire market on a pound per pound basis. Breaker. One breaker. Make or breaker. Make make or breaker. I love the stock so long as oil prices are high. Companies like this are going to continue to do well. They had a one-time uh, charge last quarter that caused the loss, but this is the perfect time to buy. Okay, split it. decision on that. The second stock is Microsystems. What do they do and why do you like them? Microsystems. The next time you go to your favorite restaurant or a, or a stadium or a theme park, take a look at uh, the, the little black box the cashier is working on. She's processing your, your order on a Micros machine that has little color codes. So everybody's using it and he thinks the stock is going to pop 30%. I'm what do you no, say, I'm Leah? a breaker. I don't like the stock. I think it's tied to consumer spending, which I'm not that bullish on. Breaker or maker, Dennis? I'm a breaker. The stock's already doubled in two years and the company just scaled back its revenue forecast. That's usually a, 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 a bad sign. What about the revenue forecast and the fact that the price might be too high? Revenue is going to hit a record this year to $670 million uh, uh, for this year. Um, look, p Americans are going to spend money. They're going to go out to their restaurants. They're going to go out to theme parks. They might not take that cross-country drive, but they're going to stay local, and they're going to go to restaurants. Brian Hicks, we thank you for coming, Brian. Good to have you here. That's it for Forbes on Fox. Keep it right here, everybody. Terry Keenan and Cash.